Welcome to the Michiana Business Podcast, where we put local legends and businesses in the spotlight for everyone in our area to see. If you love small businesses and success stories, then you're in the right place. You're listening to the Michiana Business Podcast with your friends, hosts, and owners of industrial office cleaning right here in Michiana, Caitlin and Alonzo Perdomo. Hi guys, we are here again with Michiana Podcast, another great channel. We bring a lady from Michiana with another great uh, business in the area. She's going to tell us what she does and uh, how can help businesses. And you know, we are sponsored by Industrial Office Cleaning. If you need any need, any need to clean and disinfecting or anything you need, uh, don't forget to call 574-310-7782. And with that say, I don't, I don't want to take all the time because she's here with us and I can wait her, to hear her story and the value that it's going to bring to the community. If you want to reach her and uh, talk to her, please do because she's an awesome person. I've been talking to her and she's really friendly and she makes you feel like a family. So please introduce yourself before I talk too much because I talk too much. <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi, everybody. My name is Regina. I'm Regina Browder Fleming. Um, my company is RBF Insurance with Family First Life. Um, I'm glad to be here today. I want to thank um, um, Alonzo for uh, inviting me on. He is an awesome person. Uh, we connected at one of the events for um, small businesses here in the community. And I tell you what, he's been a friend. When I when I tell you he is genuine, he is genuine. He's about his business, and I appreciate that. So thank you so much for having me on today. No, thank you, thank you. Don't throw too much flowers because I'm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so tell me so, a little bit about yourself. Um, let's start like yeah. who you are and why you do what you do. And yeah, yes, I am in health and life insurance broker uh, located here in South Bend, Indiana. I service uh, the area here in Indiana. I also consider myself the Great Lake Queen, uh, <laughs> uh, Ohio, Michigan, um, Texas, North Carolina, and Virginia. So uh, wow. those are just a few states that I service. Um, nice. Being an insurance broker in life and health, um, I'm able to write for a lot of our top companies, our A-rated companies, such as Mutual Omaha, and just to throw out a few, um, John Hancock, Americal. So uh, we, we service a big area. Um, I'll speak a little bit about the company that I got um, started with, which was Family First Life. They're one of the fastest first fastest growing IMOs around. Um, I enjoy working with this company. They are family friendly. Uh, they love helping people. Um, they um, really, if you really want to get started with somebody like that, they're the ones to, to start with. The training is free um, and they're, they're always available. So I, my hat is off to Family First Life. I just want to have, had to say that about them. I love them. Um, so what I do, um, I enjoy helping people. I, I feel that insurance is very important. I've worked in the medical field as a claims processor and adjuster and also coder. Um, and I've seen that side of it. Always wanted and had the zeal to help people. So um, I started with um, kind of just helping with resources with the Medicare beneficiaries, trying to get them um going with Medicare, as well as helping them find resources to help them after they retire. And I, became, I got a passion for that. Okay, so. let, me, let, me, let me stop you right there. Let me ask you something about that. So yes. how, let's say like I'm getting retired, uh, I, I'm ready to throw the sock, I want to retire. So how is the process, uh, process me to contact you uh, and make sure like uh, I ask the right questions to get the right plan for my retirement? Yeah. <clears throat> well, when you get ready to retire, there's a few things you want to consider. First of all, um, do you have enough to retire on? We do know that once we retire that we can't take our insurance with us. We can't. Hopefully, I've gotten to you before that and you've got this already in place. <laughs> so, but when you get ready to retire, you want to make sure that um, you, you're on the right Medicare product that you that you want to be on. If it's an Advantage plan, I can help you search for a better Advantage plan. If you need a... Um, a uh, prescription drug plan to go along with that. Um, I'm the one to look at, help you with that, you know, because uh, we know that the standard Medicare does not offer um, mm. 
prescription drugs. So you okay. have to get a standalone plan. Um, so, and with the Medicare Advantage plans, they do come with, some of them mostly come with that. So just um, some things like that, that people were reaching out to me for. Uh, and so when I got into producing insurance, which was um, as an underwriter, um, I became more involved um, with clients, um, helping them find the correct product for them. Because we know there are over, um, I think it's 65 million people who wow. are either underinsured or, um, or don't have life insurance. Yeah. So, you know, it's just we need to really reach these people and make sure that they've got the right plan for them because we get life changing events. Right. We yes. might have a baby or might um, build a home and we need to make sure that we have enough coverage. So if those things happen that, you know, they're taken care of. Wow. That's that's really powerful because uh, like me, I was one young and, you know, I'm like, hey, whatever, I don't need this. I don't need that. But if you <laughs> have somebody next to me like you, like, hey, you need to prepare for these other things. I think it's yeah. very helpful. So, guys, I think. Uh, we're on the right path talking to her and, and not prepare our future because we always think like, ah, whatever, I'm healthy. But you never know when you're going to sleep and hit something yeah. and you're like, oops. Yeah. So let me ask you, why did you start? Uh, this is um for you. How can you, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. How do you start like to do this in your own? Like, I want to be my own business mm -hmm. owner. Yeah. So, um, like I spoke of you ha uh, with this type of business, um, I went up under a uh, insurance management organization, which was uh, family first life and got started that way. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, and I'm, I'm still, you know, working, uh, side by side, but you, you kind of have to have your own brand too. Right. Yeah. So, um, that allowed me to be able to work at my pace, start, you know, I went in November, I, I quit my um, full-time job to do awesome. this. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So, yes, yes. So, um, your own boss? I mean, what's it feel to, to break down? Well, it, it's a little scary. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's a little scary because, you know, you write that paycheck, but, you know, thank God I have license to write. Yep. And, um, that's what I, 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 I value myself on is getting out here and educating people on the need that I have. Um, one of the things that I'm now uh, starting to branch into and I'm really passionate about as well is helping small business owners get insurance for their employees. Okay. Um, we know that um, today it's kind of hard to retain employees, correct? Yeah. Would yeah. you say? That's true. That That's true. That's uh. It's like a switch goes up and down. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind yes. of like between employees. Yeah. Yes. So, and I think um, there's a lot of combinations that, uh, that can go with this, but most importantly is be able to offer them some type of benefits. And I know in some of the smaller businesses, um, that's kind of hard because maybe the resources aren't there. But I think as we continue to grow, um, that's a good piece of the puzzle to have. Yeah. Um, okay. Before we go more deep, uh, how can, uh, because I'm sure a lot of people like, ah, uh, I want to learn more about this. I want to talk to her directly. How can they reach you? What is the phone number, email, uh, yeah. all the information that you got so they can contact you and start talking directly yes, to you? Yes, yes, absolutely. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, um, my um, and then my phone number is 574-309-4029. I am located at 1657 uh, Executive Plaza Court off of Commerce Drive. Uh, so you can meet me there. Uh, just give me a call before you get there because I'm in the field so much. <laughs> 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 Until um, uh, uh, you just need to let me know you're coming. Oh, but uh, okay. yes, again, my number is 574-309-4029. Okay. So there you have it, guys. If you guys don't call or before you show up, you might be standing in the door for a little while. So make sure you call and let it know I'm in my way. So with that um, I said, so how can a small business or somebody that want to start his own business, how can they come to you? Or, or what is the right questions to bring to you so they can prepare for uh, their business have insurance or the people that have insurance? How does that, how does the process with you? Yeah, um, it's just a phone call. 
you know, I'm on Facebook and I have an ad out there that says, um, just call me. Uh, if you click on my ad, I'll get that information notification. If you go on Facebook and you see one of my ads, just type in, hey, I need information. I look at those things, you know. Okay. Uh, most importantly, if you just want to send me a text, I need help or can you review my policy? Um, the biggest thing is a lot of people tell me, oh, I've, I've already have a policy in place or I've had mine for years. Um, if you don't have an agent that you're working closely with, I'm that agent for you because I pride myself in what I do. And I always want to tell people I'm the trusted hands for life. So awesome. con yeah, contact me because you know what, we need to review our policies at least every two years, because okay. like I said, there's changing events all the time. Yeah, for sure. You know, so, you may have so too me, much insurance. Let me interrupt you there. So I, I don't yeah. forget because I got a small brain. <laughs> uh, what is the difference to have an agent with you? And what is the difference know how in somebody, the is somebody that says, I already have my insurance, I already have my policy. What is the difference? Can you break it down a little bit? So people are like, oh, wow, that's a big difference having somebody next to you. I, I have the experience, like if somebody holds your hand all the way, you're always secure. When you by yourself, you have so many questions and you have so many no answers because nobody answered the questions for you. So can you break it down a little bit? Yeah, there? I think you just answered that question yourself. That's perfect. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly right. You don't have anyone. I mean, um, who's there to answer your questions you don't and how many times do you want to buy something over the internet and not know exactly what you have right yep and so that's what a lot of people do they'll go online they want to search and search i'll tell you right now if you want to search or you want quotes and everything that's the best thing to do go ahead and go online and search but don't purchase anything online like this this is your future you want to sit down with someone whether it's myself or another broker sit down with someone that can give you uh, great advice that can give you the right information um, so that you know what you're getting right yeah yeah you got something so that's you the most important thing of having an agent and a broker that you can call on another thing is the last thing family members want to do when they're going through some type of a loss of a loved one is have to worry about those kind of things right so I'm hoping, you know, as um, with the clients that I've established already, um, that I've gained that respect mm -hmm. um, and that confidentiality and that trust in them and knowing that they could call me and I can take care of those things for them and just have everything done for them. Um, that's a piece that I like to do for my clients as well. Um, they're not going to just get a policy, I'll, I'll submit a policy and forget about them. No, mm -hmm. you know, I'm contacting them every six months, at least just to see if they're okay. Uh, if they're on their, it's a birthday, you might get a birthday card or, if, you, you know, or something, you know, to know that I'm still with you. So let, let me understand this. Uh, I think I got it, but I want to kind of separate. You can, okay. uh, somebody with no business, they can contact you, right? And give the same thing. Uh, business can call you and ask you for the same. So you serve uh, in general. Is that is that what I'm hearing? Or I'm just yes, yes. Business um, for businesses. Uh, yes, small businesses. We do um, life and health, and for individuals, we can do health. Um, mm -hmm. And I can do dental and eye care for individuals. Oh, so right. say they don't have dental and eye, they just want dental something, you know, like that. I can do that with them as um, dental, eye, and hearing. I like hearing aids and that. So, I, yeah, I can do those for individuals. So tell me a little bit about this area. Uh, let's say uh, you have a business. They have like uh, maybe 20 people, 20 folks um, working for them. Uh, issues like that, you guys run into like uh, this company. They don't have insurance because they don't have enough um, budget coming in, money coming in or because they don't, they're scared to go try up there or they don't know if they can qualify for insurance, stuff like that. So what is the percentage that the people don't call you or they, you run into issues like that? They don't have it because they, they don't have enough information. Well, here in our area, mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of small businesses here that they're not offering um, insurance. So mm -hmm. I don't have an adequate uh, account Mm -hmm. for that. Um, and I know that uh, some of them say they have offered that in the past. 
um, and they no longer offer it. I think it's just the change of times that we're in. Um, we just went through a pandemic. Yeah. Uh, it hit businesses really, really hard. Yeah. Um, now we're trying to draw people back to work. You yeah. know, we're trying to get them back in the workplace. Um, so how are we going to do that? Um, I'm hoping that if I can um, get to enough small business owners and we can start offering uh, people insurance or benefits. Mm -hmm. um, and as your benefit specialist, I'm going to help you do that in a num lot of different ways. Um, put together a nice package that we can offer something to these client or or clients or employees so that we can start building these small businesses back up here in our community and also gaining um, wealth in our community again. If you're in the Michiana area and would like to have us put your business or story out there for everyone to hear, sign up at michianabusinesspodcast.com. Until next time, thanks for listening.